नमस्ते बच्चों हमेशा खुश रहो मैं सिल जे वी डॉक्टर मोनिका त्रिवेदी टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ थेलियम नाइट्रेट सो द थेलियम नाइट्रेट इज अ सेलेक्टिव एंड वर्सिटाइल ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट जनरली इट अकम्पलिश बाय द रिडक्शन ऑफ द टाइटे थेलियम थेलियम टू द थेलियम थर्ड टू थेलियम फर्स्ट द कन्वर्जन ऑफ द थेलियम of uh, third to the first is uh, energetically favorable because the reduction potential of these half cell uh, reaction is possible in the high condition so you can see here the thallium uh, plus 3 is converted into thallium plus 1 and uh, with some kind of energy here so the thallium uh, nitrate is electrophilic in a character therefore it is react with the alkene and alkynes to give the addition product this reaction is used for the oxidation of the alkene and alkyne okay the effectiveness uh, of this rea uh, the reagent is oxidation of due to the high reduction potential and the weakness uh, the weakness of the carbon carbon metal bond okay which is easily uh, cleaved the heterolytic of the carbon uh, carbocation intermediates so first is the oxidation of alkene this kind of catalyst is used in the oxidation of uh, alkene the thallium nitrate react with the alkene in a methanol solution to give the okay to give the Okay, so the thallium nitrate in formation of the one two glycoly glycol dimethyl ester take place by the following reaction. Okay, here you can see in the alkene the double bond will uh, break and uh, it will combine with the uh, thallium nitrate and you will get the intermediate over here and NO two is here on uh, in presence of uh, uh, CH three uh, OH. Uh, Uh, it will convert in the CH three OH will uh, react with this uh, CH two, and the thallium uh, nitride will eliminated, and you will get the compound with two moles of OCH three OCH three group. Now this uh, uh, this uh, this uh, the reaction is another reaction here. You can see here. the c double bond uh, c bond will break in uh, the o ch3 group will uh, combine with this ch3 well, however if the above reaction is carried out due to the uh, dilute nitric acid the reaction takes place at different um, closures uh, courses uh, and high yield of the um, aryl acetate acetaldehyde as a result okay so uh, uh, on the uh, in presence of uh, uh, thallium nitrate it will give the uh, aryl acetate aldehyde okay aryl acetate aldehyde this is the aryl acetate aldehyde the mechanism you can see here that uh, the ch ch c double bond uh, c bond will break and uh, the oh group will attach on the this carbon and another carbon the ti uh, uh, thallium nitride group will attach and finally you will get the uh, aryl acetate as a resultant okay in oxidation of alkene in, uh, into the ketone or the uh, ketals can be obtained in the presence of the catalytic amount of the palladium cl2 and ch3coo na in a methanol so this is the mechanism first the double double, double carbon double double bond will break and the uh, o ch3 group will attach to the one carbon and the another group uh, is attached to the uh, second carbon in presence of palladium C cl2 catalyst and ch3 CO NA, um, it will give the final product uh, in a, on in the presence uh, it will give the ketal okay so the product uh, uh, is can obtain for the finally it come the ketones so this is the mechanism of um, the to identify the ketones so cycloid can undergo the oxidation rearrangement with this kind of reaction the oxidative rearrangement takes place via ring uh, 
contraction and the rain takes place uh, uh, at the room temperature like in a methanol solution so this reaction takes place uh, most easily with the six and the seven member ring in which the uh, migration ring bond and c2 c3 is a trans uh, anti parallel to the uh, carbon ti bond you can see the mechanism of um, uh, cycloalkene okay this is the cycloalkene in presence of the uh, tio na uh, and o2 hole size okay, it will give that intermediate uh, the double bond will break in the in one carbon the positive charge and on one carbon the um, thallium nitride attack in presence of ch3 methanol solution the uh, reaction takes place with the six and seven member ring so this will and the ring contraction the six member ring converted into the five member ring okay finally you will get the product okay, this reaction can also be uh, applied uh, to the heterocyclic compound uh, it will show the ring closure uh, of the reaction the next is the oxidation of alkanes alkynes uh, the with the alkynes the product obtained depend upon the structure of alkyne uh, like uh, diaryl alkyl react with the two equivalent of the uh, thallium nitrate in uh, acid solution or the methanol to give the benzyl okay to give the benzyl um, in a high yield but with the uh, dialkyl uh, di um, alkyl alkynes uh, reaction stop at the um acyclone so, uh, acyclone so the c6h5 uh, triple uh, c6h5 c triple bond c c6h5 this is the alkene now in presence of uh, thallium nitrate it will give the carbonyl group okay or it it can uh, uh, it ha it will give the um, in, in presence of methanol it will give the product okay like benzyl product uh, but um, uh, in a um, uh, dial alkyl uh, alkyl and alkanes, uh, it can also give the uh, acloin. Okay, so on the another hand, the, uh, the aryl aryl alkanes in an acidic solution give the mixture of the product, but in a methanol, a smooth rearrangement takes place to give the methyl ester of the alpha um, alkyl aryl acetic acid. This is the mechanism uh, on the triple bond. Uh, of uh, alkene react with the uh, thallium nitrate in the presence of uh, uh, methyl solvent. Now uh, the one uh, triple bond uh, converted into the uh, carbon carbon and double bond alkene. So now the one mole of methanol will also react with the double bond and it will uh, convert into the um, CH3 O CH3 O C6H5 CH3. This product. After the hydrolysis of the this uh, product, uh, you will get the alpha alpha uh, allyl aryl acetic acid. The final yield is 80 percent. So with the uh, monoalkylic acetate, the reaction takes place uh, in a different. Path. The oxidation product obtained are uh, uh, carboxylic acid with loose of the terminal carbons. Okay, in this reaction, you can see the triple bond CH and it will convert the, the terminal carbon converts into the carboxylic acid in presence of the thallium nitrate. So next is the oxidation of the cyclopropane. The very cyclopropane react with the titanium nitrate in a methanol to give the uh, mainly 1,3-dimethoxy uh, alkane via uh, organolithium, uh, organothelium uh, compound. Okay, so uh, in this kind of reaction, you can see here that the you can see here that the uh, cyclopropane uh, react with the thallium nitrate and it will uh, give the 1,3-dimethoxy uh, alkyl. Okay, in, uh, in this case, the in this case, the bicyclo, uh, which is uh, n number is 1 and 2 alkane, both the internal and the external bond cleavage occurs and uh, the product resulting from uh, from the initial bond cleavage increases increase in the ring so 
for this kind of cycloalkane you can see the ring and en ring enlargement okay the the six member and three member ring is here you can see one and two ring here and uh, due to the external bond uh, one cleavage okay this this bone cleavage uh, you will find the six member ring over here and after the due to the internal bond of two uh, first is a one cleavage and second is a two cleavage okay you will find the uh, uh, two products okay it can be uh, this and it can be it is a first it is a two you can find the both product okay the six member or, or eight member ring next is the, this uh, reagent uh, used in uh, oxidation of the ketone the treatment of the aliphatic and the aromatic methyl ketones with the titanium nitrate and a chtcn gives the alpha uh, nitro ketones okay so uh, you can see here the ketone and uh, on the um, oxidation or with the, the um, uh, thallium nitrate it will give the um, alpha nitro ketone okay this is the uh, uh, mechanism of uh, the reaction the ketone uh, combines with the uh, thallium nitrate okay uh, this uh, OH bond will break and uh, um, H uh, is uh, combined with the uh, oxygen and the double bond uh, over here is uh, shifted to the uh, thallium nitrate. So you will find that the inter this intermediate which is C6H5C double bond OH plus CH2 uh, thallium NO2, ONO2 and ONO2. Now this uh, is further rearranged and um, you will get the final product which is alpha beta unsaturated ketone on the oxidation it will give one two di ketones okay so this is uh, another uh, mechanism of uh, the one two uh, di ketone it will give the one two di ketone okay, thank you very much